Market update for September 2022. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and every month we report what's happening in the real estate marketplace. And for September, we're, we've seen average home prices, the acceleration of home prices slow down a little bit, but home prices have still gone up 15% year over year, but I can tell you from experience working day in and day out in the real estate industry that the rate in which home prices are going up is is far less. In fact, the average sales price is 569 in the Wenatchee Valley. That's about what it was four months ago. So home values staying, stay, staying, they're stagnant, but they're stable at this point. So as interest rates rise, inflation's on the rise, we're seeing home values stay fairly stable. And that makes a lot of sense. So in an inflationary period, real estate is more stable. So a lot of people are still putting their money into real estate. It's a good thing for us that own real estate. Now, the people that don't own real estate or that would like to transition to different real estate, there's good news in that there's more selection. So inventory's gone from 60 homes on the market to 170. That's a 174% increase in number of active listings on the marketplace. So homes are hitting the market. They're taking longer to sell which is right, and more sellers are deciding to put their homes on the market, that's rising, that's, that's making inventory rise. Now when inventory rise, you know, as we start switching to a, from a seller's market to a buyer's market, and we're not fully into a buyer's market, but we're definitely switching over to a buyer's market, you're gonna see sales slump. And sales ha are slumping, they're down 7%. That's natural in that transitionary phase. Now. Homes are still selling because buyers are still buying homes. They still need a place to live. They still wanna to retire to our location. So homeowners that are priced right with effective marketing are being successful. It's just taking a little bit longer to do so. And buyers see opportunities. So buyers that have high down payments or cash that aren't affected by interest rates are still buying homes and they actually love it because there's a lot of selection out there. So go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com search all of the new homes that are on the marketplace, explore with the save search function so you're notified. Even if you're not in a hurry, it, you might as well know what's going on directly to your inbox. The average days on market is changing too, and I wanna give you that, get that report. So it, normally it was like 30 days, but we're, we're starting to see average days on market go up to about 70 days on market. Um, so if you put your home on the market today, so here it is, it's actually 67 days on market. So if you, your home went on the market today, it's gonna to take 67 days before you get a buyer. So as we shoot this video, let's say it's October 1st, it's actually September 13th, but let's say it's October 1st, your home hits the marketplace, you're not gonna get a buyer until December 1st. And that buyer is not gonna close on your home until for 45 days, which is actually January 15th. So if you think about it, if you're not in a hurry to sell your home, even if you put your home on the market right now during the holidays, you're not gonna have to move until next year. So the holidays are already beyond that. You're not closing during the holidays. And you know, if a buyer wants your home and they want you to move out sooner than later, um, or you get an offer and it's an early closing date, you can negotiate a later, a later close date anyways. So average days on market 67, I predict that's gonna go up into the 90s. So as homes, more homes go in the marketplace. The average sales price to list price ratio. So what are homes actually selling, to, selling for compared to what they're on the market? That went from 100% down to 99%. So, you know, 2020, 2021, homes were selling for list price or above list price. Now, on average, we're seeing homes sell for below list price. So 99%. So if a home's on the market for 500,000, someone's making an offer for 495. Not drastic, right, but, but just below. So buyers are sensing and they know it's a slight buyer's market, so they're coming in just a little bit low because they're not competing against 12 offers. It's just you and the buyer working on price and terms. And, and I think the good news on that is, yeah, you might not get your list price, but you have time to negotiate the terms with the buyer. So. If you have any questions about your real estate market up, uh, the update, you want to know what's going on in your your marketplace, whether it's Wenatchee, Swanatchee, Moses Lake, Leavenworth, Shoreline, reach out to our team and we'll give you an update 
We'll also give you a free, no obligation, home valuation on your, on your home. If you're not ready for an agent to come over to your house and tour, no problem. Go to nittenclainrealestate.com, click the button to find out what your home's worth online, and our, our computers are gonna calculate what your home's valued at using our algorithm. Again, this market update, September 2022. Um, give us a call if you need any help.